I was lucky to be present at the birth of the subject of what is now called symplectic topology, along with uh, such great mathematicians as Misha Gromov, uh, Andreas Flohr, Helmut Hofer, Duse Macduff, Claude Viterbo, and several others. Um, one of my joint and independent uh, result with uh, Misha Gromov, so he proved it uh, a different way and independently, uh, was a proof of uh, rigidity, uh, C0 rigidity of symplectic diffeomorphism, and this result established existence of the subject of symplectic topology. Later, I was uh, working a lot on contact geometry, which is a uh, odd dimensional sister of symplectic uh, geometry, and uh, uh, one of my uh, maybe important contribution is in the introduction of uh, uh, dichotomy of contact structure into uh, tight and overtwisted, which was instrumental in the development of the subject. And finally, I'll mention uh, our joint work with Helmut Hofer and Alexander Gewental on symplectic field theory, the subject which is still developing and I hope will be more and more important. Symplectic geometry, so algebraic geometry was a, one of the sources of symplectic geometry along with classical mechanics. But symplectic structures are much more flexible, so in symplectic world you can do construction which are impossible in uh, al algebraic geometric world. And uh, it is important to know this boundary between symplectic rigidity and flexibility, and uh, I was working on establishing these boundaries. So also later, uh, this uh, interaction between symplectic uh, geometry and, contact, uh, and uh, algebraic geometry were enhanced by the mirror symmetry conjecture coming from string theory, which uh, were saying that certain uh, object and result in algebraic geometry can be interpreted as a result in, in symplectic geometry and object in symplectic geometry and vice versa. So I never worked directly on mirror symmetry, but I think that certain structure which I introduced, like in particular coming from symplectic field theory, were important for understanding these connections. So mathematical subject, even if they arise from need of some outside world or outside sciences like physics or biology, they never follow kind of their development follows their own path. So mathematicians create their own worlds and explore these worlds. They bumped onto abstraction in this world and finding some hidden path, and sometimes this path leads to, to different subject and connection with, uh, with, with completely unexpected uh, uh, mathematics or and sometimes not even mathematics but uh, other subject and in the like best case scenario it really spill to some fantastic application to outside world and this is a, in some sense already start happening with symplectic topology so for instance it was uh, originally dreamed by Poincaré as a as a tool for answering uh, qualitative problem of mechanics. And right now, uh, there are a group of uh, uh, mathematicians working in symplectic topology who, who, in collaboration with uh, uh, NASA scientists, and uh, they are trying to use this recent progress and development in symplectic topology for uh, designing more effective space missions. So uh, I don't know what kind of like my work may bring, but I hope that it also can, can contribute to, to this development. I also want to say that uh, the uh, part of, of my work uh, as a professor at university also is a bringing of and uh, 
young, new young uh, mathematicians and scientists, and many of them uh, brought up on kind of very good uh, mathematics. They uh, go to outside world and uh, contribute in many ways, maybe which I couldn't even envision.